Today on Trend. Ingrid shows off another Brentwood Bay beauty. With this much glass, window coverings are so important. And Noah tells us how to navigate a red hot market. We're here in one of my favorite villages by the sea. So many trendy restaurants, walkways, and homes. Ingrid, tell us a little bit about this beautiful townhouse. I love Brentwood Bay. It was my home for over 25 years, and just the whole village atmosphere and the connection to the waterfront, it really is a special place within Victoria. And a little bit of a secret, but it's slowly getting discovered as well. Uh, we're here down right at the waterfront edge um, in what we call Moodyville for us Moody locals. Bill. And it was Captain Arthur Moody, who was an old English sea captain, uh, who created this little seaside village, building some smaller little shanty huts over the um, uh, decades ago. And it's just evolved into this amazing uh, West Coast seaside village. And one of my favorite uh, locations is this uh, Brentwood townhouse. It really is very eclectic in the type of homes that you'll find here. You'll find large, modern, brand new homes right down to the little cottages on the water. And you know, that's really what Brentwood is uh, somewhat known for. I mean, because it has been evolving over several decades. It, it's bringing new families, new life. Um, and it really does offer that kind of eclectic uh, mix. We've got across the street the beautiful Brentwood Bay Lodge and Spa, which is a, a high-end award-winning boutique hotel with one of the most beautiful southwest-facing patios. Um, then you've got Seahorses Cafe, which is just steps uh, down to the waterfront here. And one of my favorite places for fish and chips. It's unbelievable. And then if you want to hop on a ferry to head over to Mill Bay, it's such a beautiful 25-minute crossing and then you're up over the Malahat and it just really affords such a beautiful waterfront lifestyle here. I love the quality in these units from the design to the finishes you can just see that they spent so much time on them. You're absolutely right Amy this was quality built by Roads End Contracting who are synonymous with custom quality builds and this five unit townhouse complex is very very custom it's quite boutique positioned in this little seaside setting but the quality and the commitment is superior to most of what you'll find in the townhouse market here in Brentwood Bay. From the edge grain for cabinetry to the quality KitchenAid appliances, which includes double ovens, a trash compactor, a wine beverage cooler, it's really just a luxurious setting that yet still has that elegant casual feel as well. Mm -hmm. This chef's kitchen is really where all your company is going to hang out. It's one of the largest that I've seen in the overall footprint of the two bedroom, two bath home. But I think it's just the centerpiece and the focal point. And I think this lifestyle affords that style of living as well. I, I could see a, a couple who are boaters uh, who don't want the maintenance of a, a regular house or yard. This home offers a lot of flexibility. The two bedrooms, the luxurious ensuite bathroom with separate shower, the in-floor heating. You still also have a beautiful walk-in master suite closet. And then the connection to the outdoors. Every single room has their own walkout balcony that captures the beautiful waterfront and over to the Malahat Island mountains. And it's just an extraordinary package. There's so many great design elements in this home. I love that they have the hand scraped acacia wood. You don't see that very often anymore. It just kind of helps to hide any nicks or scratches. You also get the wood cabinetry, which is not very common in a townhouse development. They've really added those high-end finishes. 
The granite is also a really nice touch. It kind of has that whole West Coast feel to it. Very often you see quartz in a kitchen nowadays and there's nothing wrong with it. They're both great choices and it's just personal preference. I still love a great granite countertop because you get so much movement and different looks to it. And don't you love the detail of the ceilings with the coffer, the inset lighting? It's really quite special. It just adds a little bit of dimension to it by having the different heights as well. It also adds a great element having the pot lights up into the bulkhead. And you're right about value. It gives you the opportunity to have a waterfront lifestyle, but yet the conveniences of all that a townhouse offers uh, within a price point um, that is still under that million dollar mark. And for the option to be front and center on Victoria's ocean front and these incredible views, it really is more difficult to find this package that offers all of that in that price point. It really does feel special to be able to showcase such a beautiful home in a community that I've been connected with for so many years. And just the opportunity of living a true West Coast lifestyle, this really is the perfect spot. I'm just hanging out at Jordan's home today. You know, one of my favorite places to relax and see all the cool new things that they have. David, it's so good to see, see you again. See you too, nice to see you. Sorry I'm late, I was just sort of running around no. looking at everything and I get a bit carried away. No problem, no problem. You know how it goes. I do, I tell you I know how it goes. Yeah. So, uh, sofas, sectionals, that kind all of, of stuff. The above? We have it all. Yes. Um, this section right here is a really great piece. Multi colored, little color blue. Give I that. love this color combination. Right. Like, I will just take this whole thing Fresh, and put right. it in my living room. Well, you can. Okay. That's the thing. Everything we have is in inventory. You want it, we can deliver it within I'm the next few I'm not waiting days. 12 weeks. No, you don't have to. Wow. Every, everything in the store is in stock. That's amazing. So, if you decided you wanted to change, we can do it. Right. But then, of course, you have to wait. But if you love this color, or maybe we have one other color. Mm -hmm. It's yours. But you guys are always spot on with your style anyways. Like I would pretty much wager the colors you have in stock are probably what I want anyway. We try to keep current. Yes, right? you're very it's important. Current. You know, we see it all, we buy it. What's what the best colors are. Well and what I love is you kind of have it all pulled together already in the store. So a lot of times I just want that and that and that. Well that's the whole idea, you see. Come in, see it, okay, we'll take it. Well and this is cool, like it's not even part of the vignette. I know, isn't but... this great? This is a um, lift table, mm -hmm. sip, you know, have a coffee, whatever. And but these the cool don't come is, stylish. Like this is stylish. This does both sides. Wow. It comes two sizes. This is a small one. Comes in a big way as well. So I can eat in front of the TV and not feel too guilty. You can exactly. <laughs> My and favorite I love, thing. It's got your little logo on it, it right does. there too. This is custom built for us. We designed it and we had it made. Well, it's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Let's go look at something else. Let's do it. Okay. Amy, this is one of the sofas I wanted to tell you about. Modern, contemporary. Yes. So we have everything here. So we have transitional, mm -hmm. modern, contemporary. We have full big sofas. We have condo size, which is great. Yes. Because a lot of the people's homes are getting smaller. So we have condo size sofas, love seats, chairs, mm -hmm. all of it. What I love about this sofa is the arm detail is still really interesting and it's kind of narrow, so it gives you lots of seating room. But it doesn't take up a lot of space. Exactly. Which is great, right? Yes. And it's, I love the fabric. It's mm -hmm. that sort of relaxed, hang out, don't have to worry about, you know, yes. it's a light color, yet yeah. you could still spill something on it and wipe it up and you're good. Well, it kind of looks like that cotton linen sort of look, the natural fiber, but much more durable. Much more durable, much yes. more durable. What about these little ottomans? These are amazing. I love them for a couple reasons. Number one, they're velvet, so amazing. And they have the gold detailing on there. Is that cool? Yeah. We're seeing a lot more gold coming into the market. I'm totally on board now. I, know, right? I have to admit, I wasn't at first. I know, but... well, a lot of people are like gold. But no, it's, I love it. it's a little bit more muted than it was back in the 80s. Right. So you get that, just a little flavor. Yes. To give a little jump to the room. Which is so good. So great. Yes. It really is. So these are our smaller sofas here, but you guys have huge sectionals oh, we as well. Can get, we can get sectionals, you can put the whole family in. Right. And the dog. And right. that you just sort of sink into. Oh, and There's one called the Envelope. 
It literally envelops you. Wow. It's amazing. I think I'm gonna go and test that one out. Let's have you lay on it, see what you think. Okay. All Thank right, let's you, do it. Yeah. Okay. My own space is probably my biggest project right now. Being home all the time really makes me want to change everything. Lucky enough, I have a lot in storage, all sorts of different decor, toss cushions, a little bit of everything. But today we're going to talk about changing up the area rug. It can add a lot of texture, it can really add a pop of color, and also absorb sound so you don't get that echoey feel in a room. I had this large grey rug in the space before, which worked really well with the colours. It had a little bit of a lattice pattern to it, however, I wanted to lighten up the space and really make it pop, you know, just to change up the look a bit. So I've added this shag white area rug. I know what you're thinking, it might be a little bit hard to maintain, but I think I'm up for the challenge. I just love how it brightens the space. I've tied it in with the toss cushions, which also are a faux vegan fur, just to kind of add that warmth to the space. Another great look that you can try in this space is layering the two styles together. I also have this sheepskin rug, which I tried at Christmas. I put it on top of the gray, and that way you really get a cozy feel. Although I had to take the sheepskin away because Milo loved it too much. There's no way that was gonna last. I went with an 8x10 in this space because I really wanted to define the living room. This is an open concept home and it really needs some help to kind of define the areas. Furniture placement is important as well. I like to have the legs of all the furniture pieces on the area rug with the coffee table anchoring the center. It just kind of pulls everything together and it doesn't feel like it's too far away, whether it's floating on its own or everything crowded onto the rug. You can spread it out a little bit but make it sure that it has a really good flow to it. One little rug can completely change the space. One of my favorite things in this profession is finding out what all the trends in interior design are. Today's no different. I'm gonna show you guys some really cool things. Marilyn, you guys always have the most exciting products here. We like to think so. We, it's interesting how fashion carries through into our home fashions as well. And so things that are popular right now in the way of linen and embroidery and embellishment is also showing up in our window coverings, in our upholstery and um, the accessories that we bring into our home. With these fabrics, can you show us what a, an organic sort of linen look would look like? Yeah, a lot of the linen fabrics or similar fabrics, they'll have a lot of options in color, often something that is a linen blend so that it's going to stand up well in your window through the heat and the cold that you get off of the glass. Mm -hmm. So we like to make sure that you get, get something that's going to be sustainable and also give you longevity in your window coverings. And you can really layer the looks as well because if you want the functionality of a roller shade and then some drapes, which essentially are more just for the look, you could bring it in that way. Absolutely, and then that also adds to the heat and the control that you get for your insulation. I love the blackout qualities of drapery as well because it really gets rid of those cracks on the side and it makes it for a true dark room. And especially with so many of our modern looks that we're doing with hard surfaces, it adds to the acoustic value of the room as well. That's right, and even just adds a little warmth. A great design tip as well is to coordinate your window coverings with your custom bedding. We like to do that uh, so that if you are getting a headboard upholstered, we can coordinate that with the fabric that's actually going on the bed and then add that in with what might look great for your draperies or any of the other accessories. These embroidered fabrics are really popular right now. They are. Embellishment and adding uh, luxe to a home is really important when you're spending so much time in it. And while we're thinking of innovations in window coverings, health and wellness is really important to your clients right now as well. It is, and it's nice that we're able to help them with that. And often the way of doing that is by layering your draperies, mm -hmm. coordinating it with your bedding, so that if you get a sheer fabric, you can bring a nice drapery fabric along with that with a blackout lining in it, and then you get the best of both worlds in filtering the light, and then 
allowing people a good night's sleep with a blackout lining in their draperies. And it really helps control the mood of the room as well. Yes, it does. And sometimes to elevate the mood, you'll pick something that has a nice print on it. And while we're talking about innovations, what else are we seeing? With child safety laws and not having any cords, automation is big right now. It's nice to have the option of having your draperies open and close at a certain time of day so that you have security as well. The future's here and window coverings are really all-encompassing. They are, and it's always evolving. There's always something new and innovative that we can help you with. Go global with Newport Realty and Christie's International. Paris, France is one of the most important and influential cities in the world known for its museums and architectural landmarks and cafe culture. The City of Lights. In Paris, its older residential real estate remains premium. Regulations prevent new construction and that's a real foundation of value for a Paris home. This bright apartment is on the third floor of a fine mid 19th century building. It includes a main room with three windows. It also features exposed beams, an open plan kitchen and a bedroom overlooking a courtyard. It doesn't have an elevator, but has been tastefully renovated a perfect pied-à-terre. When looking for property, if you can't settle on realistic goals, you're doomed to hesitate just at the finish line. Best course, be specific in your needs, then trust your agent to fulfill them. I'm Dirk Vanderwall, going global with Newport Realty and Christie's International. We're in the middle of a market that is hot, 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 and Noah is gonna tell us just why it's so hot. What do you think, Noah? Well, my thoughts are, with having gone through the first three months of COVID, uh, or four months, a lot of people have spent a lot of time in their homes, and they've really made some decisions around that and thought, why am I staying in this particular space? Maybe they were in a condo, for example, right. and they've decided they want some outdoor space. Maybe they want to get out of the city and they've decided, maybe I should move out to Souk or right. onto Acreage or what have you. So I think people have really just been prompted to make a move. Why would they bother waiting around for, we don't know what's going to happen. And everybody seems to be looking for something a little bit different to suit their lifestyle. For example, we're in this beautiful condo on the West Shore right yes, now. Yes, yes. And this would be the perfect home for somebody. It certainly would be. This is a lovely boutique building. There's only 21 homes. Uh, we're facing out over the Royal Colwood Golf Course, which is an absolutely beautiful view. Very quiet on this side of the building. And this home has two bedrooms plus a flex room, which is just over a thousand square feet. Uh, two bathrooms, offers 16 foot ceilings in the living room. Which really makes it feel so bright and spacious. It absolutely does. It's anchored by a beautiful fireplace, natural gas. And this home really creates a beautiful space to live in and be able to walk to all of the amenities, which are very close. We're really in the heart of Langford. It's true, and we're, you're tucked in this little space where it's really nice and quiet, but yes. you're a two minute walk to all the amenities? Oh my goodness, the, the amazing restaurants that we have in Langford now, <laughs> shopping, doctors, theaters, really everything is in this particular area. And so. for all your sports fans, it's pretty much the sports mecca. It certainly is now, yes. You can make your way over to um, uh, West Hills Stadium. <laughs> There's just so much to offer when you live in this particular community. This building is a great example too of some unique architecture. It's not just a box, it's got a lot of interest to it. It certainly does. Uh, when this uh, building was designed, it's called the Fairwind. At both ends of the building, there's angular uh, glass windows which peek up. So if you're living at the top of this particular building, you get this amazing um, V-shaped glass feature which you can really utilize. I had the pleasure of selling the first home in this building, uh, garden level.
level um, on the side of the golf course. So my client actually had a room that was floor to ceiling glass, which, which went into a peak at the end. And I had the pleasure of selling that again after. Uh, it's a beautiful building. And again, it's unique. It's only 21 units. So it's, it's really a boutique building in this particular area. What I like too about this building is that a lot of the units have flex space in them. So the ones with the angled glass space, you can yes. put a grand piano in there, you could have your dining room, maybe a beautiful sitting area. Yes. Or even in this unit, you have the option to do a den office or a dining area that's pulled away from the main area. Absolutely, and that, that's a nice feature of this style of home is that you do have the flex space so you can create whatever you want within that. So if you're working from home, like a lot of us will be for the right. next little while. You can create a beautiful office space. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have inline dining. You've got the vault in the ceiling because we are on the top floor, of course, here. Right. So you really have this sense of space and light within this home. And everybody lives a little bit differently too. Some people have a lot of large, oversized furniture. True. Other people are a lot more minimalist. Yes. So you can really utilize it however works best. For yes, you. absolutely, absolutely. And it's certainly a space you could move from a single family home home to make the transition you can have two small pets here uh, you have extra storage you have undercover parking so it really gives you all of the features that you want in a home when you're downsizing a little bit and would you say that on the west shore you still get more bang for your buck I would say as of today, absolutely, mm -hmm. uh, compared to right in town, uh, you can find some beautiful properties here on the West Shore um, that are certainly still affordable um, compared to, uh, again, what's happening right in Victoria proper. And still a lot of different styles and something for everybody. You can find everything on the West Shore. You can find a, a 1970s home all the way up to a stunning view home on the top of Bear Mountain. Uh, there's something for everyone here on the West Shore. And there's still lots available if you just want to build from scratch. There certainly is. There certainly is. Thank you so much, Noah. Thank you.